This was not our intention and we are sorry that this has happened. Another day of apologies as the government formalises its heritage laws backflip. The laws were designed to avoid a repeat of Rio Tinto's destruction of culturally significant caves at Jukun Gorge in 2020. With Jukun's traditional owners labelling the move disgusting, the Premier addressed his critics. Look, I understand that there's disappointment by, uh, within the PKKP. Um, they were the most heavily impacted by the Duke and Gorge scenario. They were the most heavily impacted by the deficiencies in the 72 Act, which is the reason why we've made important amendments. Roger Cook insists he is acting in the interests of all Western Australians. Many members of the Aboriginal community contacted me yesterday to thank me for the decisions that we've made. Uh, many of them found the Act uh, difficult to work with and didn't like the division that came with the public debate associated with the Act. Well, same old, same old. We're, we're secondary citizens in this country. We're not consulted about anything. Uh, and you can only look at the, the comments surrounding the voice to Parliament. We've been, you know, not even considered. Combined with debate around the voice referendum, the discourse is taking a toll. What I want to welcome people to this country when they don't recognise that my people were here before them. Why would I extend that friendship on that basis? Libby Metham was a fierce critic of the Heritage Act, but publicly supported the voice. The Liberal leader now says that support is waning. I am I'm unclear about what my position is now. The Nationals in WA remain in support of a yes vote, but there's a motion to re-examine that position at the party's state conference later this month. James Carmody, ABC News.